It's one of the biggest fundraising events of the year. Nearly 40,000 people ran this year's London Marathon, and whilst funds are still being counted, organisers are hopeful they'll smash last year's record of £59 million raised. Online fundraising platforms now play a big role in attracting more donations, pushing the charity's causes across to users, whilst also enabling them to give money with just one click. Just Giving, one of the biggest players, raised just under £350 million last year. This is a figure that charities may not have been able to raise without the help of these sites. But these donations are also big business. Just Giving takes up to 5% commission, whilst others, like Global Giving, take up to 15%. They say the fees cover operational costs and innovations to ultimately raise more for charities. But for charities, this commission is money that's not going towards their causes. So the majority of our funding comes from our incredible individual fundraisers. For example, one of our runners is currently on £1,500. Now the commission on that's going to be about £100 um, and on the ground that translates into care for, for 10 kids that could have received a top to toe checkup, HIV testing and TB testing um, and be insured of their health and well-being so it makes a huge difference. Starfish is a small charity which helps vulnerable children in South Africa who are affected by HIV and poverty and a lot of its money goes into running a mobile health clinic. In the UK, the charity Big Kid helps vulnerable young people in South London to gain leadership skills. Both organisations have been experimenting with Kindlink, a site that promises to give charities all their collected donations and will not make its money from commissions. I went to meet its founder, Ishkrin Kulev, who traded in corporate life and set up a home office just south of the Thames. Kindlink didn't start this company. Kindlink started as a as an idea to be a social enterprise slash charity that helps charities. For Ishkrin, it's all about transparency. He wanted to create a platform where charities would post updates. The biggest problem um, of the charities is how do they communicate with their donors and do the donors trust where the money is going. And about 70% of donors say they would donate more if they knew what happens with their donation. They've also added a feature for people to see how much money the charity has received and how much it's spent. How has your background in financial tech helped you to, to put this together and also maybe to you know, work the system a bit? Because it's all about making money. It's just yeah. making money now for not for businesses but for yes. good causes. Exactly, yes. Um, it's always a matter of negotiations, I would say. Um, I, would, I would go firstly through if volumes are extremely important. So how you present volumes um, to your providers. When I know where they can make a compromise, um, I, can, I can try to come up with a deal which would work for both of us. See, this is a guy you want on your side because he knows how it all works behind the scenes. And so far it's proving successful with more than 170 charities signed up. How would you improve on what you're doing in the pitch? For Big Kid, it's able to spend more money on its programmes like this one which trains young people to be football coaches. It has helped me definitely, especially with school and stuff like that. Like in school, I wasn't like the, the good kid, you understand? So how does Kindlink cover its costs? Well, instead of taking commission from donors, it plans to take the money from businesses. They've developed this platform for companies to build a profile for themselves, showcasing the good causes they support whilst building their brand name. And the companies will be charged a monthly fee. I think it's quite fitting that Kindlink have set themselves up just across the river from Canary Wharf where the financial industry makes its billions. And I think it takes a certain kind of person to give all that up and come over here and work for charities. Well that and a small canoe.